the shining star of creation. You are the dream station. Now we have to realize that we aren't going to go from being identified as a person in a body into pure spirit without a transition phase. It would be too frightening if, you know, like in those magic shows where they, they pull the tablecloth you know, under, and you've seen those times when they pull the tablecloth out and all the china and the, and the silverware and everything just goes flying everywhere, just shattering and flying. We're not being asked to go from body identification and person identification into pure spirit. This body is part of a self-concept I'm going to call the doer. And you and I know what that doer is about, because there's a lot of hard work that the doer goes through to improve the self-concept. It doesn't really get us anywhere. It's kind of like spinning your wheels in the mud. You know, you've got the odometer going up to 70 miles an hour and you're not moving because the wheels are spinning in the mud. Jesus is over in the corner again, just tapping with his hands, like, you know, just like, okay, that's fine, you know, no problem, we can deal with this. You got a mud spinner here. That's okay. uh, you know, we can, we can deal with it. We're fine, it's fake, but you don't know that yet, so we'll, we'll work with it. What happens is, the only way you go from doer to being, to pure beingness, is to be done through. Doer, done through. Beingness. So, when I gave everything over to the Holy Spirit, when I was in my 20s, it was just saying, take me to the beingness. Use me. I was ready to have a still mind. Has anybody in here tried to meditate? You know, the, is the monkey mind surrender at the first one no. minute no. of meditation? No. In other words, I, I went off, I left 10 years of university, I went off to a hermitage in the woods of Kentucky. I took my course book down, I was going to meditate as many hours a day I could and everything. And I got down into the woods and the ego's like, ha, ha, you're, you're pathetic. You think I've had you in my grips for a millennium. I've had you in prison for a millennium, and you think you're just going to come down here and meditate me away? Ah! It was a James Brown. Ah! <laughs> and, and so, I tried, and the ego just laughed and snickered. You know, you think, so I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live simply like Henry David Thoreau, and I'm just going to make bread, and, and I'm just going to eat bread and drink water. And he goes like, oh, come on, just, you're going to starve me out now, you're going to try to get me with asceticism. It was just snickering and laughing. And eventually, you know, if I had just stayed there in the woods, trying to just sit there and meditate, I don't know where I'd be now, probably uh, looking like Buddha with the, you know, the long hair and the long fingernails or whatever. But basically, the Holy Spirit, Jesus said, listen, I'm going to have to use you, because you are so identified with that body and that person of David. I'm going to have to use you. I'm going to have to do through you. I'm going to have to perform miracles through you. I'm going to have to speak through you and laugh through you and hug through you and shine through you. And it's going to take as long as it takes, but this is the way you're going to come to the stillness. You're not... It's time-consuming and tedious, but you're just to sit there in this little travel trailer in the woods of Kentucky, and, you know, this is not the fast route. This is not going to save time. It'll get you there some lifetime, but if you really are wanting to get back to heaven as quickly as possible, you're going to have to be done through. You're going to have to be willing to be done through. No small task, because I was voted most quiet in my senior class. And they told me, don't go and talk about God or politics in public. And now uh, I do, I throw in a few things on politics, but this is how I um, do it. But, uh, but I talk a lot about God. And, and I've been done through for so many years, so to speak, metaphorically, that, that that's where the stillness has come in. And that's just what Frances has been talking about, that she, she didn't leave behind her her country, and her family, her husband, and all her business, and all these things, just for the sake of it. Like, that she gets brownie points for how many things you can drop. It was more to, to really be used in purpose. That, that just helped free her up for her purpose and mission. 
And then the stillness comes naturally when we're aligning with God and letting God do it through us. So this peace that you are, this peace that you are.